Hey guys, I'm just about to cut and edit my first ever attempt at a video diary. It's all because I have been lucky enough to be part of Miss Universe 2019 as a Victorian state finalist. I know I could do this without it, but I feel like this is my chance to put my vlogging shoes on. And I hope you enjoy it. This one's gonna be a little bit boring because I'm a little bit nervous in front of the camera, but I have some amazing content that I've filmed for some of the vet, the video challenges. So stay tuned and it's only gonna get better. And let me know what I should do because I am not a vlogger. I wanna be, um, I guess, but like, help me out, help a girl out. Anyways, you're gonna see this shirt turn pink. I'm super duper excited that on Friday I found out that I was a state finalist for Victoria this year and already it's only Wednesday. I've got an appointment booked in with Paula D to get my pearly whites even wider. I am so excited to finally be able to fundraise for something that I feel needs my help and I can make a difference. I literally set up my Toybox International fundraising page last night after literally just getting the link and I've almost got already $500 from family and friends. Like it actually just is so humbling and I feel so proud that the people in my community are supporting me already. Um, and I'm just so happy. I can't wait to like actually get my hands involved because I feel like some sort of cyber wall distance and I'm all about hands-on action and making a difference in any way I can. And I feel my time is my most valuable asset and my skills and knowledge that I can provide, not my finances. I'm currently dressed and ready to go to a casting today because if you don't know me, which most of you won't really, I am a qualified journalist. I've had a full-time dream job and I quit it because I really, really want to do modeling and then go off into blogging and acting and wherever like the wave of life takes me. So I've got a casting this morning for, I think it's a bridal shoot. Fingers crossed I get it because I haven't worked properly all this year, which is just a normal thing in the modeling industry, especially when you're starting out. It hasn't worried me too much because I know I'm doing the right thing and I'm so excited. And Miss Universe has just given me something else to focus on because I do have a lot of free time. And if I wasn't in Miss Universe, I would be using it wisely. I spend a lot of time working out at the gym. I just find ways to use my time effectively because I feel like one day I will have that whirlwind full-time job as per se again and I wish I had all this free time back. And I'm so lucky to do what I do. I live in a beautiful little apartment in Melbourne even though I do miss my home in Perth. I'm just loving my life right now. Miss Universe has just made it even better. I never saw myself as a Miss Universe Australia contestant because it came on my radar about a year or two years ago when I had a bridal, coincidentally, fashion show with a contestant from a few, from a year or so back and she wanted me to go and apply when I was living back in Perth and I was just like, no, I'm just not a Miss Universe girl. Like, it's just not my thing. Like, I just don't think it would be right for me to do something like that. As I've grown older and I've been in the industry as per se a little bit longer, I've realized that Miss Universe literally is like mirroring everything I actually value in life. I feel like I can actually just like encompass what it is to be a Miss Universe Australia contender. Some might say it's shallow, but you know what? It's, it's not. It's more than a beauty pageant. It's not even a beauty pageant. It's it's so much more than that. Anyways, I won't get into that. I'm so excited to meet some of the girls. I've already added them on Facebook because that's the world we live in. I'm so excited to do the Alice and Jade makeup workshop. Even though I'm not a makeup person, I'm not even wearing makeup to this casting, which is probably a sin, but they said fresh and natural, and this is fresh and natural. I'm so excited to get involved in some more K-Core classes with the Miss Universe Victoria girls. I just really hope that on this journey, I can make a little difference. I'm so, so excited for what is going to happen. Like I just, I've got this gut feeling that it's just gonna be amazing. And thank you to everyone that made it possible. And thank you for everyone that's donated. Like you actually don't understand. I woke up this morning and I was like, literally had tears in my eyes because everyone's donated and they've left their little beautiful messages. And I don't know, it's just so nice when people 
like it's not even helping me it's more helping like other people but because I was the one like communicating the message I just thought that people would be like well oh, what's Tamira doing now thank you guys so much I love you so much and I'll be coming to you again and I'll try and share little snippets of my day walking to the can stop to go to my class in Richmond and it might be a bit shaky because I'm wearing heels and my favorite jagged leggings because they make me feel empowered, strong and sexy, I know. I'll also be going to the gym after so that explains it. I'm super excited, a little bit nervous. Also listening to my fave podcast at the moment, well, it's a tie between Shameless Podcast and We Want To Be Better because I always want to be better. And I love those girls because they're so real. Anyways, I'm gonna keep going because I don't wanna miss my tram. I just finished the casting and I don't know I always get this weird feeling after castings even the jobs that I do get that they've just got a better offer but like I fit all the dresses which is really good because I've been working really hard I don't know it couldn't have really got any better to be honest I arrived super early really quick in and out but fingers crossed because I just need to get back into shooting and now I'm gonna go get a coffee in Richmond explore somewhere new and enjoy the rest of my day